He is known for being a Russian revolutionary, philosopher, and Marxist theoretician. He is recognized for being a founder of the social democratic movement in Russia and one of the first Russians to identify as Marxist. His name is Georgi Plekhanov, also known as the father of Russian Marxism. In 1856, in the vast empire of Russia, a young boy named Georgi Plekhanov was born into a noble family. But as he grew older, he began to question the privileges and inequalities that came with his social class. Rejecting his background, Plekhanov embarked on a journey that would shape the course of Russian history. As a student, Plekhanov delved into the works of Karl Marx, embracing the ideas of socialism and Marxism. He became a vocal advocate for the rights of the working class, and in doing so, he became one of the first Russians to identify himself as a Marxist. Plekhanov's fiery spirit and unwavering commitment to social justice marked him as a revolutionary force to be reckoned with. But the path to change was not easy for Plekhanov. Faced with political persecution, he was forced to leave his homeland and seek refuge in Switzerland. However, even in exile, Plekhanov's passion for revolution burned bright. He continued to tirelessly fight against the oppressive Tsarist regime, organizing and agitating for the rights of the working class. Plekhanov's unwavering dedication and intellectual prowess earned him the title of the father of Russian Marxism. His ideas and teachings laid the foundation for the social democratic movement in Russia, inspiring generations of revolutionaries to come. Though he would pass away the following year, his legacy lived on, as the Communist Party of the Soviet Union held him in high esteem as one of the founding fathers of Russian Marxism and a formidable thinker. Georgi Plekhanov, a young and curious boy from the Russian village of Gudalovka, was born into a noble family on November 29, 1856. As the firstborn of five children, Georgi's upbringing was filled with the influence of his liberal-minded parents. His father, Valentin, gave up his small-scale landlord aspirations to work as an administrative official, while his mother, Maria, was a distant relative of the renowned literary critic Vissarion Belinsky. At the age of 10, Georgi began his formal education at the Voronezh Military Academy. It was here that he found himself exposed to liberal ideas and became well-liked by both his teachers and classmates. However, the untimely death of his father in 1873 marked a turning point in Georgi's life. After his father's passing, Plekhanov left the military academy and enrolled at the St. Petersburg Metallurgical Institute. It was during his time there, in 1875, that he crossed paths with Pavel Axelrod, a young revolutionary intellectual. Instantly impressed by Plekhanov, Axelrod introduced him to the populist movement, specifically the revolutionary organization known as Zemlya i Volia. Under Axelrod's influence, Plekhanov became an active participant in the revolutionary activities of the time. However, he never completed his education at the institute, as his passion for revolutionary ideas took precedence. Throughout his early years, Plekhanov's experiences and encounters shaped his philosophical outlook. As he delved deeper into the revolutionary movement, he began to question the prevailing social and political structures. Plekhanov's belief in the power of the people and the need for change grew stronger with each passing day. One can imagine Plekhanov contemplating his journey, his belief in the cyclical nature of life echoed in his famous statement, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. Through his early experiences, Plekhanov laid the groundwork for his future contributions to philosophy, politics, and social change. Georgi Plekhanov, a prominent figure in the Russian revolutionary movement, was known for his strong political convictions and unwavering commitment to his beliefs. Born in 1856, Plekhanov played a crucial role in organizing the first political demonstrations in Russia, delivering powerful speeches that indicted the Tsarist autocracy and defended the ideas of Chernyshevsky. However, Plekhanov's journey took a turn when he emigrated to Western Europe and embraced the social democratic movement. He began studying the works of Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, which led to a shift in his ideology. In the midst of the heated debate on terrorism within the populist movement, Plekhanov firmly denounced political assassination, believing it to be a reckless and counterproductive approach. He argued that terrorism would drain the energy of revolutionists and provoke severe government repression, making it impossible to agitate among the masses. Plekhanov's conviction was so strong that he chose to leave the revolutionary movement rather than compromise on his stance. He founded a small populist splinter group called Cherniai Perdel, dedicated to battling the ideas of the growing terrorist movement called Narodnaya Volya. However, his efforts to challenge and counteract the influence of terrorism were unsuccessful. During his exile in Switzerland, Plekhanov delved deeper into the study of political economy. Over the course of three years, from 1882 to 1883, he extensively read and questioned the revolutionary potential of the traditional village commune. 
It was during this period that Plekhanov fully embraced Marxism and established personal contact with Friedrich Engels, further solidifying his commitment to socialist ideals. Additionally, Plekhanov became a committed centralist, believing in the effectiveness of political struggle. He recognized that in order to achieve a socialist future, Russia needed to undergo the development of capitalism in its agrarian society. Plekhanov's evolving beliefs and his understanding of the importance of political struggle would shape his contributions to the Russian revolutionary movement. Georgi Plekhanov's philosophy and political activity continue to hold relevance today. His staunch opposition to terrorism serves as a reminder of the importance of strategic and thoughtful approaches to affecting change. Plekhanov's emphasis on political struggle highlights the need for active participation and engagement in shaping our societies. Just as Plekhanov believed in the democratic running of organizations, we can apply this principle to our own lives by actively participating in decision-making processes and working towards positive change within our communities. Georgi Plekhanov, a prominent figure in Russian socialism, was known for his contributions to revolutionary theory and his belief in the importance of Marxist ideology. During his career, Plekhanov published several influential political works, including Socialism and Political Struggle and Our Differences. These writings expressed the Marxist position to the Russian audience and highlighted the differences between Marxists and the populist movement. Plekhanov famously stated, Without revolutionary theory there is no revolutionary movement in the true sense of the word. In Our Differences, Plekhanov emphasized the emergence of capitalism in Russia, particularly in the textile industry and agriculture. He argued that the growth of the working class in peasant Russia would ultimately lead to socialist change. Plekhanov believed that a revolutionary movement needed a strong theoretical foundation to bring about meaningful transformation in society. One of Plekhanov's most renowned works, The Development of the Monist View of History, was published in January 1895. The book defended the materialistic conception of history and became widely popular among Russian Marxists. Lenin later remarked that Plekhanov's book helped educate a whole generation of Russian Marxists. Friedrich Engels also praised the book's timing, as it coincided with Tsar Nicholas II's decision to revert to absolute autocracy, which sparked widespread protests in Russia. Throughout the 1890s, Plekhanov focused on three key tasks in revolutionary literature. Firstly, he aimed to establish the connection between pre-Marxist French materialism and Marx's materialism. His essays on the history of materialism examined the works of French materialists such as Paul Holbach and Claude Adrian Helvetius. Plekhanov defended their ideas against attacks by neo-Kantian idealist philosophers, emphasizing the revolutionary nature of Marxism. Secondly, Plekhanov provided a historical account of materialism and its struggle against bourgeois ideologists. He criticized the great man theory of history, propagated by bourgeois philosophers in his book on the individual's role in history, asserting the primacy of economic determinism in shaping historical development. Lastly, Plekhanov staunchly defended revolutionary Marxism against revisionist interpretations. He believed that a strong theoretical framework was essential for a successful revolutionary movement. Georgi Plekhanov's philosophy and his emphasis on revolutionary theory continue to hold relevance in contemporary society. His belief in the necessity of a strong theoretical foundation can guide us in understanding the complexities of societal transformation. By recognizing the importance of revolutionary theory and its application in daily life, we can navigate the challenges of our time and work towards a more just and equitable future. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.